Hello everybody and welcome to another video with Iron Gwyn. Yay! And today, welcome to another LEGO review. But in this video, I will not be reviewing any one particular set. I will be reviewing a large collection of sets, but they're going to be bits of the set. So each set I review today, I got at one point, but I do no longer own. Or, it's just one figure that I got at one point, that I chucked in this video for some reason. So, let's now get on with the video, shall we? Let's start with, I know, this set. I know, this guy can stay here. So, this is set number 76051, it is called Superhero Airport Battle, it is from the Marvel Superheroes theme, from the sub-theme of Captain America Civil War. This is from 2016, has 807 pieces, and it came with 7 minifigures. I am missing one of the minifigures, which I will show you when we get to the instructions. So, this set is an airport, so it comes with a luggage cart, a Quinjet, and an airport tower. I do not have the luggage cart or the tower, but I do still have built the Quinjet. So this is a nice build of Quinjet. It has fully posable wings that have two joints on them. It has these bits at the top, which come off, but... They would have fins here, but they have disappeared. The front here is the cockpit. You can open it up. There's there's enough space for a minifig there and a minifig there. And a nice printed console there. There are a lot of stickers all over this set, as you can see. And yeah, in the back here, there is a door... And you can put another minifigure in there. And there is a rope they can hold on to. So you can open the door and fling them out. And they can hang from the ship. Because, yeah. Play features. And underneath. It's not meant to be viewed from underneath. So it doesn't look particularly nice. But it has the airplane wheel and some other wheels here. And if you turn this knob here on the front that pops out the bottom which is two stud shooters which work just like any stud shooter you flick on there and it launches the stud so yeah um this set does also come with a giant man figure so yeah this is the giant man figure So, here is him compared to a regular minifigure. He is much bigger, but he's meant to look like a large minifigure. So, his legs move the same, and they look like a minifigure's legs. His arms, they have more rotation, but the hands are made to look like the claws. He has lots of stickers on him to show the printing that would be on a minifigure. But that piece there for his head is printed. Actually, I think most of this... No, most of it's stickers. And this can show him opening and closing this. And yeah. It's fully detailed all the way around the head. But the back of the body does not look very nice with all those studs showing. So. That's all I have for the builds. Let's now look at the minifigures. We'll start with Iron Man. So yeah, this is a regular Iron Man. I can't remember what Mark... Oh, Mark 46. This is Iron Man Mark 46. It has leg printing and torso printing. No side leg printing or arm printing. But it does have back printing. Has printing on the faceplate, which just like any Iron Man figure, 
can be lifted up to show you Tony Stark underneath. This set does not come with an alternate hairpiece for him, but you can see the face there and the angry face on the back. This is the regular print. They use both sides for most of their Tony Starks. And yeah. Next, we'll look at Rhodey, or War Machine. So yeah, he has... He's a black Iron Man, pretty much. He has legs and torso print. He has the same helmet mold. Opens up the same. You can see his face in there. And I just dropped his mask piece. Those are detachable from the rest of the helmet. He's a stud shooter on the side. So that can fire off. And I think I've lost that stud. Yeah, I've just lost that stud. And he does have back printing in there. But if I remove his backpack. Oh, on the backpack. Oops, I'm ripping him apart. Give me a sec. On the backpack, there is also this stick. Which you may have seen. I have now removed the backpack, yay. This stick is meant to be the baton he uses to beat people. It's slightly electric -y. And yeah. There's a better look at his face print. And on the back, he also has a more angry face print. So, if we now move on to... Just deciding which figure to do next. Let's do... Let's do Captain America now. Yeah, let's do Captain America. So yeah, here's Captain America. He has a nice face print and torso print. He has a print on his shield. That's the same shield mold they've always used for Captain America. He has no alternate face because he has no helmet so it wouldn't be covered. And he has back print. So this is just the basic Captain America but it looks like... Captain America. Then here is Bucky. He has a torso print and a face print and hair. And if you remove the hair, you get a better look at the face print. You can see he also has an angry face print on the back and an alternate print, an alternate no, a torso. And you can see on his arm, there is one side arm printing to emulate his metal arm. And he has a gun. So next, let's move on to the last figure I have, which is Wanda. Or Scarlet Witch. She has a nice torso print, if I move that out of the way. It's a bit obstructed by the hair. And back torso print, you can see her using her powers angrily there with red eyes. And her just regular there. There is a dish here to show her power blast. There's meant to be one on the other hand as well, but I have lost that. And yeah, she also has a papery material waist cloth thing. Then the last part of this set is the tiny statue micro figure of Ant-Man. I have got a lot of use out of this figure, so his face print is a bit scratched. But his torso and leg print looks very nice. It's very detailed. And if I quickly grab my spare Ant-Man, because the set came with two, I can put them next to each other and you can see what the face print's meant to look like if not scratched from play and use. So now let's have a look at the instructions for this set. Because I don't have the set, but I do have the instructions. So here's the front of the instructions. You can see that's the airport tower. That's the other figure that should be here, Agent 13. That's the um, luggage cart. And yeah. That's all I'm missing of this set. 
This is the picture that was on the front of the box. And there's Win on the back. And here are adverts for the other Civil War sets. There's the Black Panther Pursuit one with Bucky, Cap, and Black Panther. And here is Crossbones, which is Falcon, Black Widow, and Crossbones. And there is an advert for Lego Marvel Superheroes.com, an advert for the Avengers video game, which was out at the time. So the next bits of set we're going to look at is going to be set number... Give me a sec. This is set number 7091, and it's called Mr. Freeze Ice Attack. It is from the Lego Batman movie in 2017. It has 201 pieces and three minifigures. So, the main build of this set is Mr. Freeze's Ice Mech, as you can see there. Comes with a freeze gun. And these really thin, skinny little arms. Like the tiny... <coughs> sorry. The tiniest arms. Has pipes. And lots of decoration. And yeah. This is a well-made mech. But it's a bit skinny for a mech. And yeah. It opens so you can get your figures in or out. There's a printed... There is a printed um, console there, and yeah, this is the figure. Next, we... actually, that's it for the builds, because I've lost the other builds. So now let's move on to the figures. There would also be a pipe thingy from the opening of the movie, and an ice block for where you can imprison the guard. Speaking of the guard, let's look at him first. So he has the... He's working at a chemical power plant. So he has protective gear on. He has an air tank and the thing that's used for firemen on the top here. He has a nice torso print and a shotgun. The stud on the top of his head is a bit damaged so this helmet is held on by blue tack so if we remove all that we can see that he sorry just removing that we can see that we can get a better look at this guard's face print which is unique there and it's a scared one and on the back is the regular guard and there's a bit of back torso print. The next figure we can look at in this set is Mr. Freeze himself. He has a nice helmet thing with this see-through dome on the top, which can be removed easily to get a better look at his face print. He has no back face print because it would be exposed because it is glass, well not glass, but see-through plastic. It's a print on the front of his shoulder pad piece. Let's quickly remove his shoulder pad piece so that we can get a better look at that nice printing on him. So there is a really well printed legs and torso. And same on the back torso. That's a nice printed figure there. And the last part of this set, let's move on to Batman. This Batman comes with a flamethrower because he is fighting Mr. Freeze. He has the Lego Batman movie belt piece and a Batarang. He has the fabric cape, the regular torso print used for every Lego Batman movie Batman, and the regular back print. He also has, if you remove the cowl, you can see how the eyes are made in the cowl. It's very simple, but it works well, but doesn't look so well without the helmet on. Same on the other side, with a more scowling expression. So yeah. Now let's look at the instructions for this set. That's what would have been on the front of the box. You can see the ice block there, and the thingy in the background. And on the back, you can see a win advert, 
with oh phew you can see that it is designed for you to merge the scarecrow set the mr freeze set and the um joker set to make the chemical power plant from the beginning of the movie then there is an advert there and a picture of some of the other sets in the wave I own this one and this one and will be reviewing both in some time because they are both accessible. These two on the bottom I have never owned either. So yeah, that's it for the second set of this video. Now let's move on to the third set which is set number 8089 called the Hoth Wampa Cave. This is a Star Wars set. It did come with 297 pieces and three minifigures. But the only bit of the entire set I have is the Wampa. So this is a nicely printed Wampa. It has a bit there where it can hold bar pieces. Like a regular minifigure hand. So let's put the security guard's shotgun in to show you that. He has the horns there which can move up and down and around. And he has that bit there which can hold on to a minifigure. So yeah, that is it for the builds of this set because I don't have the rest of the set. So let's move on to the instructions. You can see this set would have come with Luke Skywalker in or some other random... I don't know if it's Luke or a random pilot in a hot speeder but and the Wampus Cave with a skeleton and Luke hanging upside down. And in the back of these instructions there it shows you the play features, so the opening cockpit, the lightsaber that can be shot out, and the winch on the back of the thingy. And then it shows advertisements for the other sets in the wave. There's a Jedi Interceptor, General Grievous's ship, I think, Slave One, some ship, and a big truck thingy, and Win on the back. So yeah, I didn't actually have a lot of that set, so that was a quick review. Next, let's do set number, wait. Which one is it next? Okay, this is set number 30320 called Gallimimus Trap. This was a poly bag from the 2015 Jurassic World line with 29 pieces. I do not have the build or the instructions to show you it, so I'm going to have to show you brick set on my tablet here to show you a picture of the build. So it's a trap. That bit there would swing down over his head once he tries to eat the meat. So, now you can see I have... This is meant to be a Gallimimus. Um, I don't know. Gallimimuses aren't green, and they aren't predators. They're plant eaters. This is a terrible, absolutely awful representation of a Gallimimus. But if it was trying to be a Comsnogathus, it's a bit large, but it looks more like a Comsnogathus than it does. Okay, give me a sec. My review thing here is falling apart. It's crumpling under the weight of the torch, which is what I use to light it. So give me a sec. It is literally falling apart right here. So the entire thing will crash down in a second, meaning that you will see the rest of my room. Which is not prepared for you to see yet. Anyway. So yeah, there's studs on the bottom and a stud there. It will attach to one of these bases, but not very well because the entire guy is rubber. Except for the very centre bit here with this stud, but the rest of him is entirely made of rubber. So next, let's move on to set number 9461 
from Monster Fighters called The Mummy. It's a 2012 set, 90 pieces and two minifigures. I do not have either of the minifigures. What I have instead is a horse, because this set is a horse-drawn carriage. So yeah, this is a glow-in-the-dark skeletal horse. You don't really need to know anything more about it. It's just that. It's a nice mould, and it looks cool, and it's glow-in-the-dark skeletal horse. So now let's go on to the instructions of this set. You can see that's the carriage with the mummy and the monster fighter lady in a mini helicopter. And that's the crystal that they're trying to get from this set. You can see in the back advertisements for the rest of the Monster Fighters waves. So there's the Sea Monster set, which I did own but don't have the pieces to review. The Werewolf set, which I did own but don't have the pieces to review. Vampire set, which I didn't own. The Ghost Train, which I didn't own. The Frankenstein's Monster, which I didn't own. And the Vampire Castle, which I own and have reviewed. And an advert for LEGO Club. And win! Then the next set of this is... Because I have nowhere else to put this set. This was a promotional... This was a promotional um, magazine set that came with a magazine it's called Finn it's from Star Wars and it's number SW911834 it has five pieces and one minifigure so yeah all it was was a figure that's literally it Sorry, my torch is... Yeah, my torch is running out of batteries in the back there, so I'll try and use my room light more than the torch. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's getting really dark here. Okay. So, this guy has a print of Pose jacket on him. I'm going to remove a bit more of this. There we go. And he has the regular Finn face print... Uh, the back print of Finn's of Poe's jacket and in, and Finn's regular hairpiece. And on the back, he does have an alternate face. And he has a sniper rifle type gun. Yeah, so that's it for Finn. It's a very basic small set. That is the entire set, but I didn't really think it was worth a review to itself. A video to itself. The next set is called Lloyd. It's another magazine set from the Lego Ninjago movie. Six pieces, one minifigure, 2017. And it's set number TNM471701. And yeah, here is the set. It has training gear, prints on the torso and legs. Has no arm printing, but it does have back printing, and it's nice printing. Has Lego Ninjago Movie Lloyd sword with the sharp bit at the top and the dangly bit at the bottom. It has his regular face print with his hair that's used. On the back is a more angry face print. The next set is called. Set number 75916, and it's called Dilophosaurus Ambush. I do not have a very large amount of this set. It's a Jurassic World set. Sorry, my iPad's running out of um, Wi-Fi. It's a Jurassic World set. Uh, It's... 248 pieces and two minifigures, and it's from 2015. I do not have any of the minifigures or builds with me at all. All I have is the dinosaur. So yeah, this is the body of the Velociraptor that they use with a different head. It has a nice molded head. These are all prints. There are no stickers here at all. It's very nice with 
nice leg movement and arm movement. The head rotates all the way around. The jaw does open. So yeah, that's a nice printed figure. So yeah, that's what this set looks like. That's the truck with an ACU trooper and that's grey in a gyrosphere. And here is the hungry Jalophosaurus chasing down Grey. And this is um, instruction one, because there are two instructions for this set. And it shows all the figures of the series. It has Simon Mazzarani, Grey, Claire, Owen, Vic Hoskins, ACU, Zach, Dr. Wu, and another ACU. And it also shows all the dinosaurs. So Blue, a Pteranodon, Delta, the Dominus Rex, Dilophosaurus, and a T-Rex. And then Win with a robot. So next we have set number 759. Wait, this is the same set. Duh. Yeah, it's just instructions number two. And this one does not have... Actually, it has images of where each set takes place on the map. Of Isla Nublar. And on the back it has a little comic. So yeah, next we have set number... Wait, where are my... Where's my minifigure stand? Here it is. Set. This is another magazine one. It is set number JW121801. It's called Baby Raptor and Nest. It is from Jurassic World with 25 pieces and no minifigures. So it has a baby velociraptor, which is very cute. This is from the 2018 Jurassic World series. Really cute. I really like this little thing. And yeah, that's it. That's all there is to this. But I'm going to leave him here so you can look at something cute while I go correct a mistake. Because I have accidentally forgotten to get the instructions for the next set I am reviewing. So I need to quickly grab those from my instruction storage which is not uh, I'm now pushing my creator instructions all over the floor and yes I am giving you a running commentary of what I am doing here we go here are the instructions for the next set okay the next one is another Jurassic World set because I've reviewed um, Pretty much all of my Jurassic World sets now, except for one, so I decided I might as well review that last one here, because it's another one where I only have the dinosaur. Nothing else, just the dinosaur. So, you'll have to give me a sec. This one I haven't pre-prepared for, because I'm stupid. So... This is set number 75915, called Pteranodon Capture. It is a Jurassic World set from 2015 with 174 pieces and two minifigures. Here is the Pteranodon. Very nice printing. It's dual molded with some grey and some red on there. It has a nice print with an opening and closing beak. And yeah. That is it. It has clips on there. So it can pick up bars. So it can like grab someone by the gun they're holding and carry them away. So let's now look at the instructions for that set. This is so yeah, it comes with an ACU trooper and Simon Mazrani. It has a helicopter as well. In the back of this set it has exactly the same advertisements and comic and everything 
as the last set, so I'm not going to put you through looking at... Oh, it has a different win, though. A different win. So, next, we have... a random crocodile. I have no idea which set I got this guy in. I think it was an agent set, based on the sticker on the top of his head. But... I'm not actually too sure. You can see him there. He opens and closes his mouth. It's the old style crocodile. I don't have any of the new ones. His tail moves side to side. And yeah, that is the crocodile. Next, we have a random dog. Which is exactly the same. I have no idea where I got this dog from. Could be any set. It's just a dog. And... Now we're on to the minifigures that I got as minifigures. This is bootleg, but it's so good that it might as well be Lego. This is a Lego Minecraft Enderman with the Minecraft head. I like the piece... Oh, I knocked his arm off. That's my stupidity. I like the piece they use for the legs. It's very nice. He has the two arms... And a specialised block piece designed to p be picked up by an Enderman. I do like the way they hold these. I think it's... Lego's done a good job designing this. This bootleg company has done a good job copying it. So next we move on to an Iron Golem that came in the same set as the Enderman. So this guy has the Villager head printed to be like an Iron Golem. He has ball joints in his arms, so they can move around really well. Oh, I just pushed him over. And on the other arm. The legs are like that, so he can move around like that. And his feet are on ratchets, so yeah. I think... Oh, no, wait, one more. Final thing before I can wrap up this review... We have, I got this at Brick Live a couple years ago. This is Wally, the stand, I don't know, it's a unique stand that I got somewhere, I can't remember, but it's cool. Anyway, this is Wally, custom printed by some random who was selling them. I really liked the Wally movie, so I got this. You can see that beautiful little print on, and it says Block E there. And yeah. He is adorable. And that is finally the entire set of loads of random, weird, unexplainable different minifigures and builds that some came in a set, some didn't. And I just decided to do one massive video showing them all rather than a load of disjointed, smaller videos. So yeah. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your opinions of any of these sets. And yeah, bye.